Welcome to That's Good Sports, I'm Bra Perna, abbreviating my name to honor Des Bryant and his release from the Dallas Cowboys today. That is correct, Des Bryant was released, which is what teams say when they want it to sound nicer than getting fucking cut, axed, laid off, unemployed, dead to us. There's no arguing that Bryant's production has dropped since he signed his big contract in 2015, which was in no way discussed in secret with the Denver Broncos as they somehow drew up the identical contract for Demarius Thomas. But uh, Dez was still the best receiver on the Cowboys, even last year, and Dallas fans are pissed. And Jason Witten, in his 63rd consecutive year with the Cowboys, is still getting paid to underperform. So why not Dez? I once pushed my mom Bryant. We'll answer that. That's good sports. Now, if you're a fan of a team in the NFC East that's not the Cowboys, let me give you some good news. This is now the Cowboys receiving core. Terrence, I only play on even-numbered days of the week Williams. Allen, I wasn't even good enough to stay in Jacksonville Hearns. Cole, I may be the most reliable receiver on the team, Beasley, and a bunch of guys you've never fucking heard of. This move, even though it saves the Cowboys eight and a half million in cap space, Maybe 12 if they designate him as a post-June cut does not make the team better, at least right, not, right now. Most importantly, this should really help in the decline of Dak Prescott. Now that his only effective quarterback move as QB is to hand it off or hand it off. Hand it to the left, hand it to the right. Hand it to the left, throw a three yard pass to Jason Witten. I'm Dak Prescott. That is my 2018 season. Now outside of the senile and sociopathic mind of Jerry Jones, the Cowboys' biggest problem may be math. They are paying $22.5 million in 2018 to five players who will not be on their team. If the Cowboys were a private US citizen, they would have a credit score so bad that Best Buy wouldn't even give them a reward zone credit card. And they will give that shit to anyone. The only team with more dead money than Dallas right now are the Buffalo Bills. And most of their dead money goes to paying for the funerals of all the fans that die in the parking lot jumping off of buses onto flaming foldable tables. This is how a smart team handles their money. And this is how Jerry Jones manages his team money. Where, where's the Italian? I'm only burning my half. Now Des Bryant made it clear after the meeting today with Jones, uh, where it was, he was notified that he would be released, that he intends to sign with an NFC East team as he said something to the effect of, I'll be seeing the Cowboys twice a year. Don't you worry. To me, this means he's either going to try and sign with the New York Giants or the Philadelphia Eagles. Des Bryant may be crazy. Crazy enough to get temporarily banned from the North Park uh, Center Mall. But he's not dumb enough to sign with the Washington Redskin Potatoes. If Des wants to play for Philly or New York, he's going to have to take a significant pay cut. Shit, he might actually have to pay them to play. If you combine Philadelphia and New York's cap space right now, they don't have enough money to pay Des Bryant half of what he was going to make in Dallas. The only team that can pay him in the NF NFC East is Washington. To me, a team that makes sense for Des Bryant to play with is the Houston Texans. Not only are they close in proximity, not only would that be a way for Des to stick it to Jerry Jones, but they have $34 million in cap space, a promising young, young quarterback in Deshaun Watson, an elite receiver in DeAndre Hopkins, a very good receiver in Will Fuller to take the pressure off of Bryant. Plus, the Honey Badger is already trying to recruit him. A side note for Broncos fans, I think Sua Cravens is trying the, the same thing with Bryant. At this point in his career, I think Dez will benefit the most from playing with a great passing quarterback on a team that has a true number one receiver already. Dez, I don't think, is that guy anymore. If Andrew Luck, 
can ever throw again, the Indianapolis Colts would also make sense for Bryant. They have a ridiculous 59 million in cap space and nobody to catch the ball outside of T.Y. Hilton and Jack Doyle. And, and Jack, Jack Doyle. Doyle. Also, don't count out the Ravens or 49ers, maybe even Jacksonville, all teams who need receiver help. Uh, I'll go ahead and throw in the Rams too, because right now the Rams will pretty much sign any talented player with character issues. The question there is, does Dez have any talent left? And I don't think Des Bryant would be a good fit in Jacksonville for the fact that I don't think Blake Bortles is a good enough passer to make Des Bryant good again. And he would be possibly the best receiver in Jacksonville. And I don't think that's what you want on your team. You want Des to be the number two guy now moving forward. This release ultimately, except for the financial stake, is a good thing for Bryant. He can sign somewhere he is wanted and he clearly was not wanted in Dallas any longer, uh, as they did not even ask him to take a pay cut. That's when you know nobody wants you. Jerry stops returning your texts. He tells you he's not home, but you drive by his house only to see him there and lapping it up with younger, scantily dressed whiteouts, and you show up for a meeting, and they don't even ask you to take less money to stay with the team. This is an ugly breakup. And if Dez ends up playing against the Cowboys next season, that is a game I am circling now. Look, I really do believe if Dez lands somewhere where he is wanted with a team that has a good quarterback and he's not the number one receiver, we'll see his productivity on the field increase. And that's assuming though, that he checks his ego at the door and learns to run more than two routes on the field. I'm sorry, Dez, but you're getting old, and now you need to actually learn the nuances of the game. You're gonna have to put in the work to be good in this league because your athletic skill set is declining. You can no longer just outpower, outrun, and overcatch dudes. And I think getting cut, getting scorned by the old, creepy ass, gray haired man that loved you before is the thing that just might motivate Dez Bryant to up his level of play. Thanks for watching another episode of That's Good Sports. Please subscribe here on YouTube. Click that notification button. You gotta subscribe. You gotta subscribe on YouTube. It's the only thing that matters. Facebook is fucking dead. So subscribe here on YouTube. Uh, I'm on Twitter at Brandon Perna. Share these videos on social. That really helps me out. If you wanna support this channel, you can do it at patreon.com slash that's good sports.